So here's a quick demonstration of what we call the functional leg length reflex. This is far different than traditional chiropractic trying to get the legs to structurally even out. We're stretching the Achilles tendon here and activating what's called a, a deep tendon reflex. It's a spinal cord reflex that will shut down when an area of the spinal cord has just had a little bit of pressure, a pressure test that will shut the reflex down for six to seven seconds. So first we get the baseline here and it's, it's red on the third second. So I'm gonna start the reflex here and then check it. You see that the right leg right here, line on these two lines, this one is about quarter inch short. So look to the left here. Still short on the right. Still short on the right. Okay, I'll straight down. So that just tested the neck. That area is clear. We just tested the C1 pathway and C5. Now we're going to go and test the occiput. So now I've got about six to seven seconds here. And there it is. So now if I wanted to, I could go and check the opposite. But well, for video's sake, I'll show that. So I'm going to check the opposite side. See that it went back to being uneven here. It's not much, it's a quarter inch, about an eighth of an inch there. So now we go back and we're gonna check, this will even it out, but now I'm gonna add in a torque component. So I'm gonna try with a clockwise torque first. Just that little bit of twist onto the fascia makes all the difference. And there it goes direct, dead even, right there, dead even. So now we come back to counter torque just to check the opposite. Now you can see that this one is back to being about a quarter inch short. That is normal, normal physiology. I should be able to go anywhere in the spinal cord and do a pressure test. It's not a challenge, I'm not challenging anything, I'm just testing. So if I wanted to, I can go and test the whole sacrum here, S2, 3, and 4 at the same time. And it's short. So I could go anywhere, I, could, I don't have to waste my time. I could go right side, left side, up and down the spine, no other area will cause that reflex to balance, so to speak, but really shut down, except for this one area of the brain with clockwise torque. Until that pathway gets reset, that one area will be interfered with, so it evens out. Now when it evens out, what's happening is called an attenuated reflex. This reflex, which is normally active and would keep one of these legs short, is shutting down for six to seven seconds. The only other situations where that'll happen is under rigor mortis at the end of life, under general anesthesia, when there's that level of sedation. And what we just found here is a primary point of nerve interference. So now to make that correction, I set the integrator to be with the right torque. And I'm going to go and I'm just going to replicate what matched or what pressure test activated that pathway. So come up right here with the integrator. And now we go back and check. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and call it clear the neurological display. But really what we're doing is we're simulating walking and just having his body process faster. So now when I go back, I check. We got our baseline saying that the right is shorter. and I can retest this pathway here. Now it's maintaining its, its tone and it's normalized. So that tells me that that pathway has been corrected. And if we were to go on, we'd go on and check that, check another pathway up to three in the day. But that one has been re removed and now we go on to be retesting and, and finding the next pathway. But the whole point is, which one pathway can we get to when we do a pressure test to essentially shut down this reflex? And the reflex is most mature and most accurate at the third second. So that means I have to flex once to start it, and then at the third second I can read it quickly. So what I'm doing is I'm in and one, and two, and three. And I can't hold it for more than a second either because that will shut it down too. So that, that, that'll cause it to switch and a lot of neurology behind that, but that's why we're doing it so quickly, not to 
not be able to see it. It'd be nice to be able to hold it and read it for a few seconds. It has to be very quick, very abrupt to get the proper check. So we go and one and two and three. There he is. We got him turned to the left. Still short on the right. Still short on the right. So now we know his whole neck is clear and we adjust that one primary up in the top.